Hey guys, I got a good question. How does impedance work? Well, I'll tell you. Alright, so, um, I kind of came up with a really kind of a cool analogy to how to explain impedance. Um, if I'm wrong, please correct me and I'll remove this video once I'm, once you tell me I'm wrong. But, this is what I believe it is. Alright, so, here we go. You got yourself, you got yourself a GX5 amplifier and you're like, hmm, yeah, that's pretty nice, you know, mm, yeah, it's good, it's got power. It's got 350 watts at, at 8 ohms and you got like 700 watts at, at uh, whatever, at uh, 4 ohms, so, you know, but, but, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait. If I can power a speaker that's this big with that amp, but I can only power a speaker that's half the, but I can also power a speaker half the size of that speaker with that amp, but without overpowering the half the size, why does that work? You know, that's the question that a lot of people have. Now, think about, think about if you had, you had, let's see, the mouse is a truck, right? You got a big old truck driving down the road, and it's, it's creating a draft behind it. Now, what you can do is you can take your little, little car, right? Your cute little car. You can drive up right behind it and draft it and follow it, right? Let's say this is a single woofer cabinet. It's driving right behind it, right? But what if, but there's still extra space for more drag. So, you can put one, two, three, maybe four, depending on how big or powerful the amplifier, the truck, which is the amplifier is. So, I mean, so you can put four, but if you put five or six, I mean, that's stretching the limits. I don't think it's actually going to be able to work that way. And that's, then, I think that's exactly how I can explain the pains to you guys. So, an amplifier can push this much power and it flows through it doesn't stop and get used in a woofer it goes through that it goes into the horn through the woofer through the next woofer out if you want to go two ohms you go out again into the horn out through that woofer through the woofer now you don't lose any power going through that you just carry it along but there is a point where it's just too many things to push and you lose your power as the example with the mouse or the truck or whatever I don't I didn't want to draw so I hope that helps you guys out a little bit um it's a question that I was confused about and I didn't know how it worked so I guess if you like my analogy I guess that's cool and if I'm totally wrong please tell me because um I don't want to look like an idiot so but I might look like an idiot if this is wrong but I don't know maybe a cool way for you guys to think about how it works so um other than that Practice and enjoy.